So now we're ready for texturing. The first thing I like to do is uh, layer up a few materials uh, that are downloadable from Substance Source, which allow me to add additional detail, uh, pore detail to my model. So as you can see, the model doesn't have that much detail because it's just one map for the whole uh, bust. So I didn't divide it into units. Uh, so one 4K map can only manage so much. But what I usually do is I add a little tileable mass map of details inside Marmoset Toolbag, for example, or whatever engine you're working in. But I also like to add a few details inside Substance Painter, and you can do it very easily. If you go to Substance Source and Skins, you can see you can download a whole variety of uh, pore skin details that you can stack up on separate layers in Substance Painter. They also have color information, which we won't be using in this tutorial. We'll paint our colors separately. So let's create the first uh, new material and select one of those materials that we downloaded. You have a male belly, uh, male shoulders. So let's select the male shoulder. And this is what it looks like after applying it in Substance Painter. It's not very pretty. It's because of the way it's tiled. So uh, first let's remove the color. We're not going to use it. And we're going to remove also the metal and the roughness information and just concern ourselves with the height information for this Thing. So in the technical parameters, when you go to your properties of the material, you can reduce the height range so it's not so strong on the normal map. So you can see it looks much better now. And also we want to change our tiling, so the scale of the material. Uh, if you tile it more, it obviously is going to be smaller on your mesh. Now we were we are set up our file so it's 10, 124. So if we change the resolution to 248, for example, we'll see that the detail is much stronger. And you can also set it to 4K, which I am not going to do because my graphics card is not that powerful. So yeah, you can also rotate and offset the detail information very easily. So obviously, we don't want it everywhere across our whole model. So what we're going to do is paint it onto the areas that we want it to appear on. So in case of this material, I want it on the shoulders. So I added a black mask which basically allows me to paint in white and reveal the information on the layer, just like you would do in Photoshop. Uh, so I'm turning on the uh, symmetry in order to paint on both sides of my model simultaneously, make the brush slightly larger and uh, change the stroke opacity and flow so we have a bit of a fall off on the brush and it's softer and we can paint it back wherever we want the detail to appear so on the shoulders on the neck maybe also the back uh, to rotate the light you just control uh, hold down shift and you can rotate your lighting to see what you're doing in the back of the model i'm going to add it on the head as well the back of the head and uh, turn on off my other subtools so I'm not distracted by them, we'll just work on the head. In order to switch between uh, painting the detail on and off, you can do it by pressing X on your keyboard. So once again, it's the same as in Photoshop. Now one thing, uh, as you can see, the, there is quite a bit of tiling effect that appears on the model. So if you go to your cavity relief 
information and bump that information up, it will reduce that tileable look. And also play with your height range. So now that we're, I'm happy, pretty happy with the way the first material looks, I can add another layer on top of this in just exactly the same way. Just create a new material, select the material I like from the library of materials that I have downloaded. And again, remove the color information as well as the specularity reflectivity information and just concern ourselves with the height and the tiling, the scaling of the material. So in the technical parameters, you have the height range that you want to reduce slightly so it's not too busy looking. And because this material that I've just chosen also has a bit of a rotation, a, a bit of a drag to it, I added some rotation because I want it to be mostly on the neck and chin. So I'm basically looking at it and deciding the way I want it to be applied. Reducing the height range. And once again, adding a black mask on top and painting with a soft brush back onto our model. And if you want to see that mask that you're creating, you can go in a drop down menu, select mask, or switch using the C hotkey between the channels. So this is what the mask that you're painting looks like. And if you press M, you can go back into the material mode. So I'm putting it on the neck and the head where the skin would be rougher on the male character. So where he shaved. on top of the head, a little bit on top of the ears. Because I'm not painting with full opacity, it's going to be fa fairly subtle. And just add interest. I don't want it to be too hardcore either because I'm adding another small detail map on top at the end in the external renderer for additional interest. So obviously you can stack these materials as long as you want to. You can have many of them for each area of the face, each area of the body, and until you are happy with the final result. And after those materials are stacked, we're ready for our color painting. 